Hi everyone, thank you for joining me here for more DIYs here in Mama's Nook. If you are new to my channel, please take a moment and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Today I have three simple St. Patrick's Day ideas to share with you. I will explain the materials used as I do each one. Let's get started. The first one is going to be a simple plaque. I am using this oval wood blank from Dollar Tree. And I have actually painted it with green chalk paint, also from Dollar Tree. I have a pre-cut and weeded decal that I did with my Cricut. I'll be using a piece of fabric, some twine, and Mud Podge. So to start, we will put Mod Podge in the center of this oval. And I'm going to lay a piece of fabric on top of that. And give it a press. And now I will cut away the excess fabric. Okay. And you end up with this. So now I'm going to take my vinyl decal. And put it onto a piece of transfer tape. and apply it to the flat. Okay, and just to finish it off, I'm just going to glue a row of twine. For the second project, I'm going to upcycle this green wine bottle. We're going to make a light out of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue some twine around the top. So I secure the first row with glue, but it's not necessary to glue it 
every single. Just add some every two or three rows. Just a little bit. For the last little bit, you'll want to run glue all the way along, just to hold the last row in place. So because I've been handling the bottle, I am now going to just give it a quick little wipe down with some acetone. And we're going to apply our decal. It says, let's get shamrock. And I'm going to add just a few little uh, shamrocks. And I know it's metallic, so it's probably hard to see. Okay, so now I'm just going to take some thinner twine and wrap it around my fingers a couple of times. Now let's just make a simple ball. Have these little three-quarter inch metal circles and I've covered them in the metallic gold vinyl. I'm going to add a little horseshoe for each.
Okay, and the last thing that's left to do is add some bottle lights. And these came from Amazon. Pink here. Now the last one I'm going to do is another luminary. Okay, and I'm using this tea light holder from Dollar Tree. Now I've tinted it green. Now to do that, what you do is pour in oh, about a quarter cup of Mod Podge add food coloring, give it a stir until it's all mixed up, and then just swirl it in the jar until it's covered. Turn the jar upside down and let the excess drain out. And once all of that is done, you put it in your oven at 225 for 45 to 45 minutes to an hour, and it will dry translucent like this. Okay. okay, so the other things I'm going to use are some green stones, a tea light, two more of the little metallic circles, and I have the little horseshoes cut out to put on those and I have a cardstock silhouette cut out of three little leprechauns. So the first thing I need to do is apply my fudge to my little silhouette here. And this is going to get applied to the inside of the jar. So pick the best side. Because I did find that these particular candle holders did have some little flaws in them, but that's okay. Just press that in there. Okay, now you need to apply another layer of Mod Podge to the other side to hold this in place. Now the Mod Podge will dry clear, so Now that does look quite the mess at the moment, but it will dry clear. Okay, I'm just going to give that a couple of seconds to set up. So let's get our little circles ready here.
And again, I'm going to wrap twine around the top. All of these projects today was sort of a test to myself to see what I could come up with with stuff that I already had on hand. You don't always want to have to go out and buy new stuff for every time you want to do a project. Okay, I'm going to pause this here and I'm going to give this a chance to dry and then I'll come back and complete it. Okay, I'm back now. It's had a chance to dry. Uh, I did use just a little too much Mud Podge so it didn't dry completely clear, but it is still okay. So to finish it off, I am just going to wrap some twine around here and tie a bow on the side. And attach my little gold coins. put some of these clear dark green stones in the bottom. and just add a battery candle. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, I ask that you please give it a like. I would really appreciate the support. Until next time, bye for now.